of God? Yes. I know some people still are saying. But the guy chapter 3 in ties and other. And because you love God and you put a curse on you, that's what happened to, to them. They robbed the Babylonian garment which belonged to the Lord. So God put a curse on Israel. Now they have just won a big battle. Oh, a city that was big and giant and everything. And they just march on the wall like the mad people. And so we are to that show. And so we are mad people that we are to come here. And we
Thank you. 
Seven demons, because some of you don't know that it was seven demons that we removed from the young lady. And we, I asked, what would the mission, what would you guys mention? His mission was to kill the lady and to destroy the family. Who remember? Amen. Who remember? I don't hear anybody testify yes. about it. You can testify what you witnessed to. And so we we have to get deeper in understanding it. When we come to Zion, when we come in a heaven places, we are not just come to feel good and feel nice and go home. We come to remove demons from tormenting, from destroying, from stressing out people. Demons that own them. I cast out demons in one time. The demons were hiding. The demons, oh, you find me. I mean, they are hiding 10 years. 
It, 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 don't tell me I want to know. Don't, don't realize that he's still is real. Don't you never the demon up there didn't come to kill and to destroy But what the Bible say. But yet at the same time, we are cut if there is no spiritual wickedness. And so the Bible would warn if there is no spiritual wickedness in high places. And you just got a lip so uh, 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 no, no, no bother you. Let me tell you something, we are in Wavi. Touch your neighbor and say we are in Wavi. I never, I never tell them to be black and white. Did I say we are black and white? God made it or no. You don't know my, my, my sermon that was coming. Wait. And most of the time when demons possess a family, you call it familiar spirit. They possess a great, great, great grandfather. Till you go to the great, great grandfather, to the great grandfather to the father, and to the children, and to the grandchildren, to the great grandchildren, and great people, it's, it's come down. And it don't happen to every, everybody in the family. But sometimes skip people. Sometimes it can skip a generation. It can only carry to one generation, one person rather. Out of the seven children, one alone carry, but it not from that individual is coming from generation. I, I forget to go to church. I just want to get in the word so much. Yeah. To my elder and all the pastors and officers and members for which from the farm and vice can reach. Amen. Church, visitors outside. Can come have a seat. Or church. Remove the curse and the demons. Remove not just the demons. Remove the cursed and the demons. No, for you to do that, for you to deliver somebody and bring somebody into deliverance, you must first bound the strong man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you are weak, oh, you can fight a strong man when you are weak. Let me say it again. If you are weak, oh, you can to conquer a strong man. You must first be strong. Amen? Amen. So before we even get in the world, we can to get strong. How do we get strong? We have no this song that I know. I have no strength, no power of my own. Blessed Jesus, oh, Hello. Who oh, knows that song? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. We are like the way I go in a in a agent. I'm gonna show you. you yes, <laughs> I'm going with me. No, listen. Listen, listen. Let me tell you. So, only to me, I hope you don't have myself. I want to sit on there. Let me sit on ya. Are you believe that it's a pastor's responsibility to come over you and tell you this and tell you that? You have to work with the angel of the church. We if we gotta get rid of demons out of our home. One minute, Peter Bridget. If we gotta get rid of demons out of our home, demons can attach themselves to our finance. And even though we are in a good job, we don't see one cent. We are get paid, and we not see where we pay. We buy the clothes and the clothes don't tear off of it. We buy one car and the car match up in two days. Somebody praise the Lord. Because the demons come to kill, steal, and they destroy you. So we are not playing this thing. This thing is a real thing. Hallelujah. Because some of you are not blessed today and are not going on with you today. It's because you're in spiritual warfare. You seek a doctor, can't find a complaint. And a doctor problem, a spiritual 
warfare. How can you deliver yourself from spiritual warfare? Doctor can help you. Amen. Let me tell you something. Okay, you lie, you're good. And you go a court and we could be the one that take you. When, when you go a case at the fifth, you find yourself go a case at a court house in and the ten. Name Carl. It's in a in a court then. Are you not sleep on children? I jump for our work court too. Pull that jump up before the church. Somebody pray along. Can I have somebody with me now? Listen, if you don't get yourself strong, if you don't get powerful, demons walk by you. Demons come into your house and take out your pity there. And you still be telling you. See as you look for me, let me not teach you. But oh, some of the church don't teach you too. Cause they don't want to teach spiritual wickedness. Somebody praise the Lord. Me say, you can't have so food that you don't have sugar. So food can't better. And you have no sugar in your body. And you put a rotten off. Demons, spiritual wickedness. I want to be aware of it. Because it's there. And the Bible tells us. He said, no, come now. I am to, to cast out demons. If there was no demons, God would not say, then we must cast them out. Amen. So, we don't come all the way from West Manor. Every Friday night, we come from prayer. We come to help you. But you have to help you. Help yourself. Somebody need to praise God. Don't want to me cast out demons. Tomorrow, man, in the same demon, don't come back to you. Because you have the Holy Ghost. And you build up yourself. So, so how can we get strong? Since we have no strength and no power, we have to first empower ourselves in Jesus Christ. We have to get ourselves under the anointing. Somebody praise the Lord. I think that's where you go. Can I have the church with me tonight? Can I have the church with me tonight? If you see it, I'm sweet you. If you get sweet like you, you better get yourself under the anointing. You better get yourself strong. Demon lick them and beat them and kick them up and say, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. But who are you? Somebody praise the Lord. There are higher highs and deeper than you have to get yourself where you can able to wrestle against the strong man. So make you build up yourself. Come go with me.
of Jesus. I pray the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every demon we are hiding and pull you out. Every anyone in a tinabe, when they are under me, pull you out in the name of Jesus. Everyone with the entire power put down in a wall. We take you out in the name of Jesus. I pray the fire of the Holy Ghost in this place. But demons can stay in us. But Jesus is in the place. And if Christ in the face, he is the mind.
to remove demons. Because if they remain in you, they will destroy your finance. They will destroy your home. They will destroy who you are, your character, your standard. Hallelujah. They will come up against it. Amen. We have to we have to get rid of we have to get rid of demons. And we don't sing it in the mic now. Praise God. We can't just come to church and clap our hands. Please. We can't just come to church and clap our hands and we go home seal bound. We go home enemy is holding and, and, and our finance and our life and all that. We can't do that. The church is a place of deliverance. It's a place of breakthrough. And in the this time, tell Father, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed. They shall cast out demons. Come on, Bertrand. Hey, Coach. Yes. And I know you were not learned yet. There are, there are demons that is in, in, is hiding in dark areas, in dark corners. And they have to be plucked out tonight in the name of Jesus. When demons have you in bondage, messing with you, finance destroying you, and when you get deliverance, what you want me to eat? Hallelujah, Jesus. You are now hey. an enemy of the of the Hallelujah. So when they get delivered, you want to lick demons. Amen. You can't give him no room. You can't give him no space. Yes, sir. Yo! Hallelujah. You can't make him come back. Hey! Mm. When you are giving demons hey. you have open. There are different services to that you know you are travelling service. Hallelujah. Filming with spirit and all that. Hey. You're fighting against me and cast out demons. Oh. Remove the curse <coughs> and demons. Amen. Hello! Yes, sir. <coughs> so what? You have authority over your own. You have authority over your finance. Ah! You have to keep us something to you have to take over the No, no, not that. What do you mean at the church? You see, when they're going like that, you know, they are releasing. So, so turn on the light. Oh! I you get it. Something else. take her out. <coughs> Was that you know. The uncle and mother in the church? Hey. My look at you right here. Hallelujah. I'm going to on the church. Hallelujah. One, two, three. So we come to deliver people today. We're going to keep them one step up here. A demon can't cast out demons. So when they come, I come to this answer. Don't pay them no mind. Hallelujah. Some of them come and show that they clap and they sing and dance with the demon and go on back. We get rid of it. Hello. I want to declare that this week is going to be the best week for me. Things is happening. Those are opening. Oh, I might prophesy to the church. Those are opening. Come on, somebody. Because I find out who is the troublemaker. And I get me the I'm the troublemaker. Hear what I'm saying? If you don't get rid of demons, demon 
want to sink your body in. And then you have to spend money on doctor. I want to spend your doctor. The doctor can't help you. And they walk from one place, one doctor to another doctor. Send us to a specialist. And then you end up coming back. You realize, you know, and a doctor probably you still have to come back to the church. Hello. I don't like me at all. Yet Adventists come away. Yes. And they can't manage their demons. Yes. Church of God come away. Yes. And they can't manage their demons. Yes. 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 I'm going to have to say yes. yes. Let me see if we can do something. So much more my daily. For Jesus is. But Jesus is a mighty soldier. So mighty. You know that's up there. Lord Jesus, we come back in the morning. Search most mightily. The Holy Ghost is searching. I said so. Holy Ghost. If you say anything, I try to stop me this week. Kick you up a little bit. Then I'm tying out this week. No holding down. Every minute I go on business and it's about to come to something. Something come and lick it out. In our heart more again. So I show it my to you. So when, so when, when, yeah man, because because he's not working. But when me finish, I have a funeral to go tomorrow. So I have to go down after church. Every time I start getting in and out of the and start to work. I can't even go home and I say, what happened? Come out a little bit early. Yeah. Come out a little bit early. When you know, really want me to do what I have to do. Because I can't work outside that time. I have to work with time. Come on, Gretchen. I'm going to call me a call for now. Just tell me a time. Hallelujah. Look at say we can come up and look at the Look at you have so much thing. Hallelujah. And I can't I, I can't do too much in a certain limited time. time. Because they can't hurry the Holy Ghost. No, yes, sir. They have to wait till the Holy Ghost speak. Yes, yes. And all the Holy Ghost move. Yes, Somebody praise the Lord. Yes, come on, church early, man. Let that be said. Amen. Chapter 7. Let me go to verse 11 first. I say a sin. Israel, sorry, Israel sinned, and they also transgressed my covenant, which I have commanded them, for they have taken of the cursed things, and have also stolen, and descend also, and they have put it on among their own stuff. Let me just very, very quick. Now, Shaspa give a command the non much Take the Babylonian's comment. There are certain things that they must take out of Jericho. They must not interfere with the garment, nor the gold, nor the silver. They belong to God. Yes. It's the first city that they end up in the warfare in. And the Bible says that the first fruit belongs to whom? God. 
But this man now is see the the the, the Babylonian garment and, and he see the gold and the silver and all these things and he yeah, and he got to take it up. It's not that silver is cursed. It's not that the gold is cursed. It's not that the living is cursed. But it's cursed because God said you must not interfere with it. Hello. And this is what happened today. We are going against the covenant of God. And we rob in God and expect to be blessed. But the Bible says, can a man rob God? Only talk to me because I don't know no problem. I will call about money and tell you this. And say, well, let me tell you something now. If you don't want to bless me, I feel your business. Amen. May I do God's work. God be used one somebody and bless me. I'm in a walk with of people. I'm in a mission in the yard. I make the money. I look what they have. No. Let me make it clear and plain. Somebody pray. And if you're coming to be healing and delivering, you're not getting healing and delivering. I don't know anything else to come back. You're not going to get it. Breakthrough and it's big testimony, and people get visa, and people get them believe. Say, ah, people don't get this so. up. I don't get it, get this so. up. They are faith in God, and if you are faith in God, you will get it too. You will get your breakthrough, you will get your deliverance, you will get your blessing. Can a man who have God? Yes, I know some people still are saying. Malachi chapter 3, in ties and iron. And because you rob God, I have put a curse on you. That what happened to, to, to them. They robbed the Babylonian garment, which belonged to the Lord. So God put a curse on Israel. Now they have just won a big battle. Oh, a city that was big and giant and everything. And they just march on the wall. Like them are mad people. And so we are to be a show. And so we are mad people that we are there. And we are poor anymore. And so we are told. And they say, all they do are shout, they will take it and shout, and blow the bars. Amen. And when church person know, make a shout, hallelujah! Yes. If you 
responsibility. Ah, I'm passing my money. You make that mistake. I'm blessing the family. Come on, come. Don't you never say me no money. I bless me, bless. Why are you praising God this way? Because I need my maximum. 
Instead of them winning the battle, they become the loose battle. And Joshua start to search the man. Yes. Come on, brethren. And when Joshua start to search the man, it does something right. Because I know the God that I serve, that He is able to do exceedingly. Talk to them and they get healing. 
can talk and you know what I'm saying, you can go on Facebook and, and, and uh, Velma Velma Rascliffe yeah, Velma Rascliffe, go on YouTube I'll pass away past the YouTube Hello. Velma Rascliffe it was a prophecy and healing service I said, some old man talking on YouTube maybe somebody on YouTube and Facebook I'll get the word tonight Amen. but they deliver one because they believe that they have a day at all Come on, tell anybody to send the word. Send the word. Send the word, Apostle. Speak to somebody. Wherever you is. I am sending the word. That the God who rise up early set up late. Never sleep. I'm watching and see what the TV are going to do. Hallelujah. I'm going to put on the camera. You must see your problem. You must see your pain. You must see what you are going through. You must see everything. But sometimes we don't want. Sometimes we don't want. Come on, that's all We need to come out. Sometimes the mother and the father have the children and the captivity. We don't want to hear them. Somebody here? Yeah. If you know your arm cleaning up, you know what you want to say. I 
have your heart clean. And even if, even if you find yourself broke and have no money, if you have good heart, God will send people come. New people, better people, and we come and bless you. And when you are 19 wheel, or when you are wheel in the Lord, and you are good people, good people, and some broke people. Amen. Tell me that the good people are some good people. Some of the people that can't stay on you if you got the heart no good. They can't stand the music. They can't stand the anointing. Can I talk to you? You know, you love your chest. It's just so good. You sing that in too much. You're too happy. Pastor, call you up too much. Can I talk to you, somebody? Oh, you're up too much anointing. Oh, you can't sing so. Oh, you can't pray so. Let me tell you something. Even if I'm a pastor and bishop, they will go to Babylon is coming. Tell me about some man. God will bless you, man. Hold yourself. God will need no help. He bless you. Ah, can I help you, somebody? Because after when did which man name man? He about about Elijah, and he went to Elijah house. He want to come on Elijah because he have money, and he have this, and he have that. Say what? Come on, Elijah. Elijah, come out here. Some people don't want to see you and they can't see you. They never expect you don't go so far. Come on, somebody talk to me. They never expect you don't come out so good. Can I talk to you? Can you focus on your children? They never expect your pity and I get healed. They never expect you. Can I not turn you around like that? Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm about to turn you around and surprise my enemy. Can I give me a turn? I'm about to turn it around. Thank you. 